Hello students, today we are going to discuss the topics how the gene expression is regulated. Under this topic we are going to study about the meaning of gene expression, mechanism of gene expression and an example of gene expression that is lac operon. Now look into the picture, now what the picture is trying to illustrate. Now you can see DNA strands, then you can see the RNA formed on DNA and then you can see the third process that is protein synthesis. So all the three processes are there, DNA to DNA that is replication, DNA to RNA that is transcription and from RNA to protein that is translation and ultimately you can see the formation of polypeptide. What does this picture signifies? That at some places you can see that the DNA is regulating the gene expression that is the formation of proteins. So that means the information in DNA it leads to the synthesis of protein. So there is a direct relation between gene and protein. Now when we go into the mechanism of gene expression then we see that one gene the gene which is represented by DNA that forms ribosomal RNA, messenger RNA and tRNA and that leads to one polypeptide. This polypeptide it affects the organelle, it affects the enzyme which is proteinaceous and the biochemical reactions taking place in body. So now let us understand what is the meaning of regulation of gene expression. In a simple term we can say that it means that what mechanism stimulate or inhibit expression of gene as required in the cell. That means there is a mechanism to control the amount of a particular protein at a particular time in a cell as per the requirement of the cell. Now in eukaryotes the gene expression is regulated at four different levels. The one is transcriptional level that is during the formation of primary transcript, processing level that is at the splicing level, then transport of mRNA from nucleus to cytoplasm and at the last at the translational level. Now let us understand the lac operon. Now these lac operon this were proposed by Jacob and Monod in 1961. They worked on E. coli. Now what is the meaning of operon? It means a unit. Now why it is called an inducible operon? Because it is only in the presence of lactose the operon function. Now let us study the different components of lac operon. It consists of a regulator gene, a promoter gene, operator gene and structural genes. There are three structural genes as you can see in the picture. The structural gene for beta galactosidase, the structural gene for beta galactoside permease and the structural gene for beta galactoside transacetylase. Now let us see the different functions of each component. The regulator gene it controls the operator gene. It produces repressor protein, stops transcription of structural genes by turning off operator gene. The promoter gene it is located near operator gene. It has two functions. The first function it binds RNA polymerase and second it determines template DNA for mRNA transcription. The structural genes that produce mRNA enzymes. The three genes are lac Z, lac Y and lac A. The lac Z codes for beta galactosidase, lac Y codes for lactose permease and lac A codes for transacetylase. The operator gene it controls the structural genes. Now why it is called the lac operon? So in the lac operon they studied the breakdown of lactose into galactose and glucose. The lactose is a disaccharide. The lactose when absent there is no transcription but when lactose present the transcription takes place. So the regulation of gene expression in this particular example lac operon it takes place in two steps. Two conditions are there. The first is the switch off condition. Now let us study what happens when the operon is switched off. That means the structural genes are not transcribed. In the switch off condition the regulator gene it produces 
a repressor protein. Now these repressor protein go and binds at the operator site and it prevents the function of RNA polymerase so that the three structural genes are not transcribed. So this condition is called switch off. Now let us see what happens when the lactose is present in the medium. So when lactose is present in the medium, it becomes a switch on condition. How does it take place? Now you can see that in the presence of lactose, the repressor, it binds to the lactose and it makes the repressor inactive so that the repressor in no longer binds to the operator. The operator is free, the RNA polymerase function and transcribes the three structural genes and the respective enzymes are produced. So what is the inference we get from here? That the genes are expressed when the substrate is present. Here the substrate is the lactose and that is how it is regulating the protein synthesis. Now let us see what are the advantages of gene regulation. The first very important advantage is it is economical as it saves energy. The cell metabolism adjusted to environmental changes and the housekeeping genes for example the repressor protein, they are always in the switch on position. Now the, let us start with the first point how it is economical because the operon will take place only when the cell is required of that product. There are certain genes in the cells which are constantly formed, they are constantly expressed they form the proteins and these genes are called housekeeping genes. They are very necessary for the cell to survive. And one of the example is the repressor protein that we have seen in the lac operon. Now let us have the summary of the topic that we have discussed. The formation of protein from RNA is called translation. The process involves activation of amino acids, charging of tRNA initiation, elongation and termination of polypeptide chain, ribosomes move 5 prime to 3 prime on mRNA, gene expression means information in DNA is used to synthesize a functional protein, lac operon is an example of inducible operon function only when induced by a substrate. Now you have a small quiz try this, where does translation occurs in a cell? how activation of amino acids take place, what is the direction of movement of mRNA, name the stop codons, what do you mean by gene expression, name the components of lac operon, why lac operon is called inducible operon, what are housekeeping genes and give one example. In the next discussion we are going to learn about human genome project DNA fingerprinting, thank you. Thank you.